So reference your original circuit. So my range three, um, let me just actually let's reference it. Range three was 13 milliamps. Um, so I'm going to set that up, and I want you to look at the redraw or, and figure out how to do that on your own um, for this one because I want you to see if you can match what I did without you know try it on your own and then and then look at what I do. Range three. So let's do I range three is going to be okay. So now if you look in, if you're looking at your um, original hopefully you see that when you're on range three you end up with something like this whoops that was kind of messy okay so now you got so here's r3 all by itself r2 which we still don't know r1 which we did figure out and then our meter um, I'm drawing it as a meter. Sometimes I'll draw it as a as a resistor just to, you know, make that not seem like I'm going to do anything special with it. Okay, so so I range three was 13 milliamps. 13 milliamps. Okay, so 13 milliamps coming in. 13 milliamps going out. Okay, a little Kirchhoff Kirchhoff law in real time right there. Okay, I let's call this I shunt for range three, IS three. And if you haven't figured it out by now, this is gonna be I meter, and it's still one milliamp. Okay. So that's super awesome. Okay, and I'm gonna do exactly the same steps that I did for the previous range. I'm gonna look at a voltage equation for each side. Now I'm going to skip the branch statements and just go right to the to the math. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to move this a little bit. Let's see if I can do it without causing a real big problem. Now well, that'll be fine, I guess. All right, so let's look at it. So voltage equation for each side. Let's see if you can let's see if you can do keep up or beat me done and then we'll compare notes at the end. All right, so I've got two branches essentially in parallel, so I know each branch's voltage is gonna be equal. Let's look at what's on each side. I will start with terms of voltage, so VR3 equals VR2 plus VR1 plus V meter, okay? All right, put it in terms of Ohm's law or current times resistance, R3 is going to see IS3. Oops, not yet. Got to remember that R3. Okay, all right, now IM is going to see all these resistors R2 plus R1 plus R meter. Okay, and there's, a, there's a step in here that I normally skip, but just, be, just for clarification I'm just going to show it when the math becomes easy for you you can do what you want but I'd let you know I try to show it if I can just in case you need it all right so that's kind of where I'm at right now I don't know R3 I don't know R2 I know R1 and RM I know IM I know IS3 you remember what we did before so I had I started off with my shunt total right R1 plus R2 plus R3. So I know that relationship to be true. In the last redraw, I found this relationship still to be true. R2 plus R3. You know, in this one, the picture can kind of help guide you to remember um, the next step, but basically R3 is kind of by itself. So if I take the leap and say RST minus R1 minus R2, equals R3. You know, that equation strangely matches our picture, um, and I've maintained that mathematical relationship knowing RST to be 500 ohms, okay? And I think I also found um, 
So I did, I believe I found an R1 value that seemed to be good, and that was 285.7 ohms. Okay, so that we'll keep that, we'll keep that. And this is the one that I wanted to look at for the next step. So, so because I don't know R2 or R3, is there a way that I can substitute out one of these resistance um, expressions in here uh, to minimize or reduce my number of unknown variables? So if I can find uh, a statement or a, uh, an expression or an equation that I know to be true, and I can trade one unknown for, or, or a set of unknowns for, you know, maybe a couple of things that I do know and one of my other unknowns, my remaining unknown. Um, so in this case, I could trade out, looks like R3, for two things I know and one thing that I don't know. And that'll leave me with that one thing I don't know. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Um, so let's just rewrite this. So I'm gonna substitute R3 for this expression I know to equal R3. So I'm not changing any values, not changing any um, relationships, or and I'm not hopefully not breaking any rules. So, so if I do that, math can just be you can do whatever you want as long as you don't break the rules, right? Minus r1 minus r2 equals i m r2 plus R1 plus R meter. All right, well that's cool. So now I gotta solve. So I know the current, I know the total of the resistors, I know R1, I don't know R2, I know that current, still don't know R2, but I do know R1 and R meter. So now all I gotta do is solve for R2. So I'm gonna distribute, um, so that I can get the, my R1 terms by, or R2 terms by itself, and solve for R2. So let's just do that. I'm gonna start on this side. Okay, so IS3, RST, whoa. Uh, minus IS3, R1, minus I S three R two. Okay, let's go ahead and distribute on this side. Let's see if I don't run out of room. Okay, I M. Okay, times R two plus I M R one plus I M R. Whoa! Now I'm out of room. Let's see if I can do this. With there we go. Well, look at that. Let's get rid of that a little bit. I M R M. Okay. Now let's get our terms in order. I S three. I'll keep on this side. R S T. And that one I'll keep on this side. I S three R one. Um, that one I'm going to move to the other side, so let's keep track of that. Uh, this, these other two, without R2, I'm going to bring over. So minus I M R1. Just make sure you don't break the rules and you're fine. Like that rule right there. Minus I M R M. Okay, equals. Now let's keep that R2 term. I M R2 plus IS3 R2. So let's make sure I got all my terms correct. So there's that one. And this one stayed. So there's there it is. Okay, I am R1. Uh, it's really messy, so it doesn't, it's not clear. Okay, so there I fixed it, hopefully. And I am RM. Okay, wow, so I'm right next to the edge, so this is looking really weird. Let me see if I can fix it. Okay. Okay, IS3, uh, R2. Oops. 
All right, so now all I got to do is combine like terms and and uh, uh, get R2 by itself. So um, there's a little bit of factoring I could do. Okay. All right, so a little bit of factoring I can do, and I can get R2 by itself. Let's see if I can do it without messing up. I S three, okay, R S T, okay, minus I S. Well, let's just do the factoring. Come on, Tim. Uh, minus R one, minus I M R one. R meter. Okay, so those are basically my, um, or this one's my branch voltage. Let's do the, let's factor out an R2 on the other side. I M plus I S3. Okay, hopefully that, hopefully I'm doing good so far. Now I just need to get R2 by itself. I M I S3. Okay, now this whole thing. I M plus I S three. All right, so let's write that clearly. Hopefully R two equals I S three times R S T minus R one minus I M R one plus R M and that's all over I M plus I S three. Let's find that R two. Okay. Well, I've got my shunt, which I didn't actually solve, but I think we could figure out by now that uh, it's going to be range three minus range three minus one milliamp is just going to leave us with. 12 milliamps, right? So hopefully um, you can see that from the in the last step. Okay, so let's get my let's get my green. I was working in green. All right, so IS3 12 milliamps, and then 500 ohms minus 285.7. A minus uh, let's let's get I am in there one milliamp uh, two eighty five point point or two eighty five point seven plus one K all right getting close to the edge again okay and I'm down to one milliamp plus uh, 12 milliamps. So there it is. That should feel comforting to see that range um, down on the bottom there. Okay, so let's make this a little cl more clear too. All right, so 12 milliamps. I'm just doing a little of that math in my head. So let's see how that goes. Um, 500 minus 285. Okay, I probably shouldn't try to do that in my head today. Okay. Okay. Wake up calculator. All right, so let's get that on there. Okay, so 12 milliamps. Okay, so inside here we have 500 minus 285.7. Okay, and 2214.3. Should be pretty easy, but hey, you know, it's early. Okay, so 285.7. All right. Okay. 
close, right? So it, my calculator just rounded it for me. Okay, so back to 13 milliamps here, right? So we got a voltage, I didn't draw the ohms, of course, but current times a resistance is a voltage, current times a resistance is a voltage. Okay, so let's come over here a little bit. Oh boy. Avert your eyes, I'm, I'm expanding. Okay. All right, so where's my, well, whatever. Okay, so now let me just come over here. R2 equals 12 milliamps times 214. Well, let's bring up the old calculator again. 12 milliamps times, where did I find that 214 number? Right there, okay. So, 2.572 2 volts minus, okay, one milli, milliamp times that number is gonna be one e to the negative third times that number, right? One, two, eight, five, five, seven, point seven, okay. All right, exactly. 1.285 or 6 if I was if I'm only going to show my 286 volts okay so volts minus volts over 13 milliamps okay r2 equals that voltage minus the other voltage okay so let's find those voltages here minus oh, that minus that gives me 1.286 volts over 13 milliamps. All right, so R2 equals, and hopefully we get a good number. Let's see how it goes. Divided by 13 milliamps, and we get a little bit of a resistance here. 9, 8, point nine two so nearly a hundred ohms for r2 okay all right so there's a couple more steps and then we're done so remember our ori original relationship and then this little you know realization that we came to that you know based on that relationship r3 just equals the shunt minus the other two now that we know two of them we can solve for r3 so r3 equals RST minus R1 minus R2, right? And now we know, or we believe we know, those numbers. So let's just, R3 equals 500 ohms minus 285.7 ohms minus 98.2 ohms. Let's see what R3 equals. I should have used a different color for this, but oh well, let's just keep rolling. Clear. All right, so 500 we found minus R1, which I don't know if I have it. Let's just punch in this number I've got. 285.7 minus uh, 98.92, which there it is. Let's just use that one. All right. So it says here that R3 has to be 115.4. Okay, so if we did it all right, then that is R3. So let's highlight, let's highlight those numbers that we are gonna take with us. Okay, so this one and this one. All right, so the next step is to double check and see if I did this right or if I wasted a 45 minutes trying to get this solved. Okay, so let's find out.